welcome back to the channel today we're doing a modification on my fly sky fs-i6x remote we're going to add some joystick pots okay so the first thing you want to do is open up the case and we're going to remove the trainer and the battery connection cables up top you got four switches which aren't very good when you're trying to work hydraulics or the dancing bed or hydraulics of a model car. So we're gonna replace those. First thing you wanna do is take out the switches, take off the locking nuts for the switches. So the switches are gonna be labeled A, B, C, and D, and it goes across from left to right. And so what I'm showing you here is the corresponding uh, connection point on the board for each switch. Okay, so here's a single axis joystick potentiometer, which is basically a potentiometer on a horizontal axis with a toggle. It's non spring loaded, so wherever you put them, they stay. They have the same typical three, three connections set up for a potentiometer. You got your sweep in the middle and your input and output on either side. Okay, we want to get the switch labels pulled off so we can go ahead and uh, trim the opening for the new switches. If you look and notice, you'll see SW, A, B, C, and D wrote on the switch label covers and they correspond to the labels on the board. All right, so we're gonna have to trim the inside of the case to get these switches mounted in there. If you don't have a rotary tool, you should really invest in one. So what I did was glue each switch together in pairs. And then you need to open up the openings so the toggle can actually function up and down fully inside of the case. And then I basically just glue the switches inside the case and I put that little piece of white styrene block as a reinforcement. I know the case looks a little weird with those ugly holes like that, but don't worry. Flasca includes blank switch panel covers. It's a highly modifiable radio. So I transferred my pattern by using the old switch covers to figure out where my new cutouts need to be at. And I just traced and cut those out. Now just go ahead and repeat that step for the other side for switches C and D. Okay, so now we're gonna start wiring our switches to the existing leads. Mm -hmm. 
the green wire is in the middle, it's the sweep wire. The yellow wire and the white wire are the input and the uh, output wire. The middle wire controls the uh, resistance of the signal coming out, which in turn controls your servo. Now what I'm doing is going in and turning on the actual switches, the auxiliary switches. The i6X doesn't come uh, activated as 10 channels. It comes uh, function as a six channel. And so you just go into the auxiliary settings on the system setup and you activate all four switches. So here I'm assigning each channel a switch function, A through D. And now here you can see on the display there my new joysticks operate aux channels 7 through 10 and those are typically used on my bed dancer to operate the uh, dump tilt left and right and for my radical I'm using channels 5 and 6 to operate the, uh, the lifting platform thanks for watching like and subscribe peace